Hello everyone. Good morning. Okay. How are you today? Right, for today's science class, Justella, we're going to learn about the importance of block shapes. Okay, students, by now, you should be able to know uh, the many shapes that we have yeah, for the block shapes. Okay, so we do have, just for recall, we do have sapphire, cylinder, con, prism, cuboid, cube, and pyramid okay so if you notice here there's many shape blocks that are used around us okay for example if we um go for the these shapes okay um the pyramid shapes for the roof here okay why they use a pyramid shape to make the roof Okay, so there's reason behind it. Okay, why there are um, shape of cone and cylinder? What's the importance of the cylinder here in the playground? Okay, so we're going to see uh, two situations here where the boy um, wants to play football. He wants to kick the ball. So, first picture is when the ball used a spherical shaped ball. And the second picture is when he used a cube shaped ball. Can you see the face over here? How's the boy's facial expression? Okay, while well, he's kicking the spherical ball, he looks very happy and enjoying looks like enjoying his game but when we look at the second picture he looks disappointed he looks angry because his face turns red means he's not happy why the boy is not happy okay so let us look into the main objective why is the boy um, wanting to play football? Okay, because he wants to roll the ball. So when we, he got a spherical shaped ball, it's easier for him to roll it. But if he's using a cube shaped ball, it does not roll easily when kick. So that's why he's quite sad about it. So thus, for a ball, the best shape to have is the spherical shape and not the cube shape. Can you see here the difference of these two? So that's the importance of each block shapes for certain objects. So it may be good for the for a ball to be in spherical, but it's not good it not good to be in a cube shape. Let's observe the second situation, which is about a clock stand. A clock. Okay, the clock, the first clock is in a cube shape. The second clock is in a cylinder shape. So, which one is good or suitable for a clock to stand? So, we have noticed that the clock in a cube shape is well stand on the table compared to the cylinder clock which can roll easily. Thus, in this situation, a clock is best when it is in a cube shape and not in a cylinder shape. Okay, students, so we learn certain objects need different shapes for certain reasons. Okay, the, the best one is where it is suitable in terms of its safety, in terms of its purpose. Okay, so objects with basic shape blocks are made according to their use. So have a look into this situation, the next situation. I have 
to picture here. It's about the roof shape. First picture, it's the roof is in a shape of a prism. But the second one, the roof, is a flat roof shape. So, which one do you think is the best for roof? Is it a prism shape or the shape of a cuboid or flat roof like cube? It's flat surface here. So, yes, it's the best to have with the prism or pyramid maybe. Yeah, because when, there's, when the roof is in a prism, when there's water, rain water, okay, the rain can overflow down, can flow downwards. Okay, it will not stuck at the roof and spoil the ceiling of the house compared to a flat roof. Can you see here? When we have flat roof house, okay, and the rain comes down, and if you don't have a proper way to take out the water, so the consequences is maybe the roof will spoil and it cause mosquito to lay eggs at the stagnant water. Okay, so that's why most houses have this shape of roof, which is prism shape. Okay, that's all for today, our learning. So later, students may answer my quiz questions and do your activity book for this topic. Okay, that's all for today. Have a nice day. Bye.